Yeah. Good day to all business partners and family members of I Network International. My name is Sam. Welcome everyone to this evening I Elite System Online course, the first step towards success. And I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate I Network International and I Elite System for leading us to have better health and better wealth. And uh, I believe everyone of here are tonight in this meeting room just because we want to learn which is uh, the first step towards the success talking about our back office system. I'm sure that all of us are the member and family members of uh, I Network and also I Elite system, where this is actually the privilege given to all our distributors. You have your own uh, virtual office that is actually uh, our so-called as a member back office system. And tonight we're going to learn how to access to this back office system and also the steps on how to register new members and also how to do the monthly maintenance at all in one in our back office system. So without hesitating, I would like to invite our IT manager all the way from Malaysia, Miss Joanna Chong. Hi, good afternoon everyone and also good evening everyone. Good afternoon to Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania members and good evening to our Indians and Philippines members. All right, I'm Joanna Chong. I'm in charge of this uh, iNumber to you VIP member system. Okay, let's not delay. I'll share my screen first. Can everyone see my screen? Yes, very clear, Joanna. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sam. Okay, so this is our iNumber to you VIP member system. If uh, you can see here, this link here, is different from your current link, all right? This is my demo version, my demo link. As for your member uh, link, it will be inetwork2uvip.com, okay? inetwork2uvip.com. So when you uh, log into that link, this login page will be exactly the same, all right? It will be the same. So the, the things that you need to do, right? When you need to log in is you have to key in your username and your password. And this caption here, it will be varies according to your uh, login. So if now I log in, I just follow this four digit, I'll just type it here. Okay, so let's say I log in. It's my username and password. And here it shows 3568. I'll just follow as 3568 and I click sign in. Okay, so when I sign in here, it will bring me to my homepage. So the homepage, the first thing first that I see is our company's uh, news, information, any good news, and whatever information, all right? We will share it here so you'll be able to see this uh, sliding info here, right? If you scroll further down, all right, you'll be able to see your own information, all right? This will be your own information page. You can see here my username is called Kenya, all right? I'm, I'll be using a Kenya account okay, to show all this uh, demo. And currently my current package is silver. Let's say if you buy gold or diamond package, it will be changed here. If it's gold, it will show as gold. If it's diamond, it will show as diamond. Okay, and this is my maintenance expiry date. As you all may know, I believe uh, our members who joined us are right back in May, June, and July. Your maintenance expiry date are showing uh, 31st August, all right? You need to maintain by 31st August. So that's why you see my countdown here, it left three days and it's blinking. So it's the system is telling me that I must maintain by 31st August in order for me to earn the daily bonuses for next month. All right, if I never maintain, I won't be able to earn the daily bonuses for next month, except, except for sponsor bonus, All right, except for sponsor bonus. I can earn the sponsor bonus even though my account is expired, okay? And then the rest are direct sponsor count. Let's say if I sponsor uh, someone, I have sponsored three people, here will be showing as three, right? This is your direct sponsor. And then you'll be able to see your group member left and right, how many uh, people are in your left, or how many people is in your right. And the total level, this is for the placement hierarchy. On your left has how many levels now, on the right also has how many levels. Okay, so this is the summary information of your account. Now, if you scroll further down, you'll be able to see three different wallets. All right, it compromises of bonus wallet, register wallet, and redemption wallet. Okay, so what is bonus wallet? 
bonus wallet is whenever right you earn bonuses daily be it sponsor bonus pairing bonus matching bonus level pairing bonus or even your maintenance bonus the uni level bonus all these bonuses will be debited into your this bonus wallet and this bonus wallet here is in us dollar it is in us dollars and for uh, for your information for each member all right whenever you earn the first bonuses of the month the system will deduct one us dollar from your bonus wallet here as the system fee all right let's say in this coming month september let, let's say on the second september you earn your first bonuses the system will deduct one dollar from your bonus wallet but if you did not earn any bonuses in that particular month all right there's no deduction okay and for this bonus wallet the, there are two functions first you can do withdrawal with the company okay and second you can use it you can convert it to register wallet and use it for registration upgrade or maintenance right you can use the money that you've earned to do registration upgrade or maintenance okay and apart from that the bonuses that you earn daily, right? The it will be divided into eighty percent to bonus wallet, twenty percent to redemption wallet. Okay, so let's say today I earn hundred US dollars. This eighty US dollar will be into my bonus wallet. Twenty US dollar will be into my redemption wallet. Okay, so this is the bonus wallet function. And let's say if I want to see in details on what uh, my bonus wallet transaction. I can actually click on this details button here. When I click in, it will bring me to my bonus wallet history. Right, this is uh, showing for the month of August. All right, from 1st of August to 20th August, the whole month of transaction. Currently, there's no transaction here. But if I want to see back my previous transaction, I can always click on this calendar. Let's say I choose uh, June from 1st June to 30th June and click on next step. And we'll be able to see all my transactions in the bonus wallet. And debit is when your points in and credit is when your points out, right? Debit and credit. Okay. The next one would be register wallet. How, register wallet is how do you get points in your register wallet? Firstly, like I mentioned earlier, you can convert your bonus wallet point into your register wallet. Secondly, you can always buy points with a company. So uh, let's say to buy points, you need to transfer fund to company, am I right? Be it you uh, transfer via online banking or you use our payment gateway or you pay by cash or anything, right? You will always have a receipt. So this receipt, you always have to top up in the backend system, which I will uh, teach you later. So when you top up and when company check the transaction and it's uh, we receive the fund and we will definitely approve the request and immediately you will have the points here. All right. And these points here are also in US dollar. Okay. These points are also in US dollar. And this point here, the register wallet here, you can actually transfer to your upline or downline within your family hierarchy. Okay. So this is register wallet. Now, the last wallet that we have is Redemption Wallet. Redemption Wallet is to redeem product, to redeem our iTerrake product. And the points here is not in US dollar, it's by points, so 1.2.3 point, point, points all right, per unit. So here I have 783, uh, 83 points. So with this point here, I can actually redeem uh, iTerrake product. And apart from how you get these points here is firstly, the daily bonuses of the 20% that will be debited into this redemption wallet, right? That's the first time. Secondly is when you do sponsoring, when you sponsor a silver, gold, or diamond as a sponsor, you will get an X amount of points into your redemption wallet. So you can actually accumulate the points that you have in your redemption wallet here and redeem a unit of an iTerra care device. Okay, and bear that in mind, this redemption point here cannot be transferred to anyone. This point here is uh, belong to you. Okay, and when you, let's say, when you do an upgrade, all right, when you do an upgrade, all right, that upgrade amount will be debited into your redemption wallet here as well for you to redeem products, be it upgrade or when you register new member, right, when you register new member, the new member account they will have an X amount of point in this redemption wallet for them to do redemption. Okay, so now we have 
three wallets here in the system for members. Now the next one is our country bank information. All right, here we have a country like Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Indonesia, Kenya, and India. All these are our company's bank account details. So let's say you wish to transfer fund to our company, you can always refer back here. All right, get the bank information and then you can transfer accordingly. All right. Now further down, we have this uh, company fixed rate. Company fixed rate is when you buy points with the company and when you do withdrawal with the company, we have an in-out rate. Okay, so let's say I'll do for Kenya. For Kenya here, you see, the in is when you buy uh, points with the company, the rate will be 110. And when you do redrawal, the out here, it will be the same as well, it will be 110. Okay, so uh, for every country, we have a different fixed rate. So you can always refer to this table here. Okay, next to this company fixed rate, we have news. Whatever news information or memo that we wish to share with the members, we'll definitely update here. So you can always click in, and you can always see the latest news that we have. Okay, so this is the home page. Next, I'll go to the second one will be the navigate. I click on navigate. In the navigate, we have different functions, right? And I will explain one by one. Now, firstly, we have family hierarchy and placement hierarchy. Family hierarchy will be your direct and indirect sponsor. And placement hierarchy will be definitely different from your family hierarchy. Placement hierarchy will be showing your left and right, right? Who is on your left, who is on your right, and it will be showing levels by levels. And actually your upline can always place new members below you. All right, so family hierarchy and placement hierarchy is different. So I'll show you family hierarchy first. When you click in, they require you to key in your security password. So you just put your security password and click on next step. Okay, when I click on next step, it will be showing my family hierarchy. Right now, this account, all right, my this account here, they did not sponsor anyone. So there's no one here. But if you are sponsoring more than one person, and your downline also got sponsored more than one person, you'll be showing all the hierarchy here. And the hierarchy, apart from checking on their current package, you can always see their expiry date, their personal sales, group sales, and maintenance. This personal sales, group sales, and maintenance, the amount here showing, right, will be in the PV. Okay, next will be placement hierarchy. Placement hierarchy, same as well. You need to key in your security password. All right, as you can see, the placement hierarchy here is different from your family hierarchy. Now, the placement hierarchy here, there are two icons here. The first icon is like a blue color human icon. It means it's an occupy unit, meaning that there are members placed there at that particular unit. But if it's red color and a plus sign, meaning that it's an empty unit, there's no one there yet. So in the future, when you do sponsoring, you can always choose this kind of empty units to do placement. All right, so this is your placement hierarchy. Now, uh, in the future, let's say, all right, because now my placement hierarchy here is showing only the first and second level, but how do I check my third level and onwards? All right, the third level onwards, you can always, when you have someone here, you can always click in here to check if you have third level onwards. Okay, later I'll show you on how to click in here after I do one registration here. Okay, and besides that, in this uh, placement hierarchy, you can always track your PV. Right? You see this detail button here, you can click in, and you will be able to see my own account, this is my account, on my left and right, the opening PV, right, opening PV, and today's PV if there's sales, and your accumulated PV since the first day you join at the now, right, the accumulated PV. And here you'll be able to see your left and right level, how many person uh, from your left and how many person are from your right, and also your maintenance PV. Okay, but if you do not wish to see, you can always close back this detail and you will minimize it. All right, so this is your placement hierarchy. Now the next one would be registration. And apart from registration, we have upgrade and maintenance. So I'll show you guys one by one. So I click on register. When I click on register, the first thing I see would be my register wallet balance. This is my own wallet balance. I have a 10,000 plus US dollar in my wallet. And the first thing I need to do is to select the country. Let's say I have a friend who wish to join and I need to know my this friend, he's, he or she is uh, purchasing which country package. So let's say I click on this country here. We have 
a sort of countries here, all right, that you can choose. But let's say he's mining from Kenya. So I just click on Kenya, all right? And then it will come out the package price of the silver. But let's say if I want to have gold or diamond, I can always click on this drop down button here. And I'll be able to choose this gold or diamond, silver, gold, diamond. And as you can see here, each package has different package price. All right. So let's say if it's silver, this 320 register wallet amount will be deducted from my register wallet balance here. And let's say if I choose as gold, 960, all right, 960 US dollar. This also will auto change as 960 US dollar. Mm -hmm. And also the same will be deducted from my this register wallet balance here. So let's say my this new friend, they just want to buy one unit first. So it's silver. So when I click on silver, the next thing I need to do is to fill up my this new member uh, information, right? The first thing is member username. For member username, all right, the minimum character that is allowed in the system here is four characters. And these four characters, you can actually mix and match between alphabets and numbers. But if you wish to have all numbers or all alphabets is doable as well. So the minimum is four characters, maximum is 15 characters. Okay, so let's say uh, I just put the new username here and the full name. And for your information here, the full name here, right? Remember to always put in your full name because this name will be in sync with your bank account holder name, right? Next time in the future, if you wish to do redrawal, right, with the company from your bonuses earned, this full name here will be in sync with your bank account holder name. So remember to always fill in your full name. Now the third one would be your sponsor username. The sponsor username can be yourself or if you're helping your downline to do registration and your downline in the, is the sponsor, you can always put your downline username. But let's say I am the sponsor, so I put my own username, right? And the next one I need to choose is the placement where my this new friend are going to be placed. So in order to do that, you can click on show. When you click show, it will be telling you uh, the uh, available unit that you can place. For example, like my this unit now, my account here, Kenya, I'm doing my first sponsoring. So uh, our system here, when you do the first sponsoring, the rules is you must always place on the left side. But if I want to place right side, I can't. That's why you see there's no place me button for me to click. Right, I can only click one, which is the left side. But let's say if I'm not the sponsor, it's uh, my downline to sponsoring. Oh, sorry. Can't because that's the upline. Okay, let's say if I have, uh, because I have no downline now. So in the future, let's say I've down, uh, I've downline. All right, I can always choose either left or uh, choose either left or choose either right. Okay, so now I have no option. I can only choose left. So I just click on place me and it will say here, upline position left. And then the email, you just fill out your email address. And in the email here, you must, uh, it's compulsory to fill out. It's because in the future, let's say uh, this member forget the login password. All right, and when the member click on forget password, the password will be sent to this email, okay? So remember to fill up this uh, email. And lastly, the security password will be your own security password. And then you click on submit. When you click on submit, there's this one confirmation page here. And this confirmation page, you have to always double, triple check, especially on the country, the package, all right, the username, the sponsor, and the placement. Because all this, if, uh, if, it's you, if you realize it the following day, for the following two days that you realize that it's wrong, it can't be changed anymore. But if it's same day sales, it can be canceled. So you have to immediately let the admin or customer service know, and then we will definitely cancel the sales for you and you have to re-register again. But if it's not on the same day sales, it can't be canceled, all right? And if it's not on the same day sales, only the name, and the email can change, right? The name and email can change. Other than that, all cannot change anymore. Okay, so let you, once you confirm everything is correct, just click on confirm. And this uh, username already successfully registered. 
and the temporary password will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so every time when you register someone, our system here will auto generate a temporary password for them, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can actually screenshot this and you can uh, send it to them and they can actually log in from their end. All right, so let's say I do this login because for a new member, every time when they do the first time login, they need to change their password and set their security password. Let me show you how to do that. I log out first. Okay, I put this uh, member username and uh, follow the caption and click on sign in. Okay, when this member do the first time login, it will have a small message here. You see for the first time user, please change your password, which is your login password, and also set your new security password. This too is compulsory for your login and security password. If you never set, you cannot proceed to the home page. Right? But further down here, you can actually fill up your bank details, all right, your contact number. But if you wish to fill up later, you can skip this part because it's not compulsory. Okay, and you can uh, do the password setting first. Let's say I change my password every entry. And as for security password, you can always set the same as your login password if you wish. But if you want to have a different security password, it's also okay. Same for security password, uh, minimum is four characters, all right? Maximum is 12 characters. You can mix and match between alphabet and numbers or you want to remain all alphabet or you want to remain all numbers are also okay. So once I set it, I click on update, it will bring me to my homepage. Right, so this is my homepage and I'll be able to see my own account here, right, my own wallet. As you can see here, just now when I register this member as a silver package in Kenya, this new member have a 320 points in the redemption wallet for him or her to do the redemption of one unit iTerra care device. Okay, so this is how a new member log in. I go back to my account. Okay, so this is my account. I go back to navigate. Okay, let me show you back the placement hierarchy. As you can see here now, my this new member is placed on my left. All right, it's on my second level. So if I want to check whether I have third level or fourth level, I can always click in back, click on this icon here, and it will go to this member username. You see the username changed already. This is not my account, right? Because this member is my second level. And here will be my third level and here will be my fourth level. So currently now I do not have third and fourth level. I only have up until second level. So if I want to go back to my account, on top here, you will be able to see a drop down button. You click here and search for a username. You click on username and click on search. It will load back to your own account here and your left and right, right? So this is a way to check your placement hierarchy levels. Now next will be upgrade. For upgrade, you click in. And this upgrade you can actually do for yourself or you can help your downline do the upgrade. So if you have your downline do the upgrade, you have to key in your downline username and click on next step. When I click on next step, this is my downline username and the name and their current package is silver. And for silver, they can upgrade to either gold or diamond. But if their current package is gold, they can only upgrade to diamond, okay? And this register wallet balance is my own register wallet balance. It's not this member register wallet balance, okay? This is my own wallet. Right, so this amount here, if I upgrade to gold, this 960 will be deducted from my wallet here. Okay, if I wish to upgrade to diamond, this drop down button here, you can always click in and select diamond. Right? And you can see when I select diamond, 3,200 US dollar, this will be deducted from my wallet. But if I select gold, it will be 960 US dollar. Okay, so if I confirm it's only upgrade to gold, I put in my security password. Click on confirm, and then here it says upgrade successful. So how do I check if my this downline really upgraded to go? Right, I can go back to my family hierarchy, put in my security password, click on next step, 
and you'll be able to see this username, my downline in the current package now is go. Okay, so this is a way to check your downline uh, current package. Now next will be maintenance. As uh, you all remember, my account maintenance here left three days before it expired. All right, so if I did not maintain now on the 1st September, right, it will be an expired account. I wouldn't be able to earn any bonuses. Right, so now I have to do maintenance okay, because red alert I need to do. So I go back to maintenance. And maintenance here, same. You can always do for yourself for maintenance or you can also help your downline to do maintenance. So if it's I do for myself, I put in my own username, click on next step. And this is my username, my name, my current package. And same, this is my own registered wallet amount. And here it says a gentle reminder that your last maintenance expiry is by 31st August. And this month, I did not maintain any amount. So it shows current month maintain is zero. And here the maintenance here, apart from the normal maintenance, we have one month maintenance up to 12 months. So we have the option of one month, three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. And each month, the amount here is different. But for the normal maintenance here is for the function of, let's say, your redemption wallet, all right, you have 300 points in your redemption wallet and you are lacking of 20 points. All right, so that, uh, because you want to redeem one unit of iTerra care, because one unit of iTerra care in Kenya is 320 points. So I'm lacking of 20 points. I can always do my normal maintenance here, put 20 points, and I can do my maintenance. And for information here, our one US dollar is equivalent to 0 0.7 PV. So you see our 20 USD, this is our PV. But let's say I want to maintain, uh, I want to maintain one month. All right, I can always go to this drop down button here and select one month. But if you wish to do more than one month because you're afraid that you might forgot, forget to maintain for the following month or the following six months, right? You can always do advanced maintenance. All right, okay. we have the options three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. And bear in mind for maintainers, in order for you to earn the following month bonuses, we have a minimum amount. All right, for, uh, for Kenya, it would be USD 30, right? 30 US dollar. But let's say if now I only maintain $20, it doesn't qualify me to earn bonuses for the next month, all right? So let's say I want to be qualified. I need to at least maintain a USD $30, right? So $30 is equivalent to 21 PV. So let's say this is confirm. I put my security password, click on confirm. Okay, so here it says it's completed, successful. I can always go back to my homepage and you can see now my maintenance expiry date is extended another 30 days. So sorry, I'm my internet suddenly slow. Hold on, let me just uh, refresh. Okay. Okay, so now you can see here, my maintenance count now here already extended another 30 days. And my expiry date instead of 31st August is now 30th September, All right? So this is a way to do maintenance. So uh, remember for our current members who join us back in May, June, and July, remember that your expiry date now is uh, by 31st August. So please remember to do maintenance in order for you to earn the following month bonus. Okay, so this maintenance. Now the next one will be to register wallet. As I mentioned earlier, for your register wallet, right? In order to uh, get your points in there, there's a two way. One is convert bonus wallet to register wallet. One more is to buy points from the company. So you have to transfer fund to company's bank account, right? So when you transfer, there's always a receipt. So the receipt here, right? You have to upload 
I click on this top register wallet and I upload my receipt here. All right, I, and bear in mind for the receipt file size, right, the image file size, it must be less than 4 MB. If it's more than 4 MB, it can't be uploaded. Right, so remember, it's less than 4 MB. And to upload, I click on this gray color icon here. When I click on it, if you are using a laptop, desktop, or you are using phone, normally after you click on it, the system will ask you, where is your picture, right? You have to always look for the picture. Let's say this is my receipt. And after I click OK, remember, right? Remember to click on this orange icon, upload image. Right. When I click on upload image, wait for this message to come out when it says photo uploaded successfully. So I click OK and key in the amount right, that I transfer to the company. And the amount here will be follow your local currency. right? Like my account here is Kenya LB. I need to key in in Kenya shilling. But if it's uh, India, I'll be uh, putting as rupees. Okay, so remember, don't key in US dollar. Key in your local currency. Okay, let's say for Kenya, I put 35,200 Kenya shilling. And the method, I can be bank or USDT. All right, so let's say if it's bank, and then I put my security password and click on submit. So after I click on submit here, it says top up successful. But remember, this message doesn't mean that you get your US dollar, your points right away on the spot. No, it doesn't work like that. After you top up, all right, company will receive the notification. All right, and a company will check your uh, transaction. If the company receives the fund, company will then approve and you will get the points immediately. All right, you have to wait for the company to approve to, in order to get your points. So how do you check your status? You can go to this top up register wallet listing, click on it. And this is the top up that I done earlier. Okay, and the current status here, if you see is turning, means it's pending. All right, company haven't do any approval yet. But if it's approved, it will be a tick. All right, if it's tick, you approve means you have the points. But if it's an X, means it is rejected. The reason why it will be rejected, it will be under this remark here. Right, usually it will be as the most common reason why company reject will be no receipt attached. Right, because a lot of members, they forgot to click on the orange color button, which is the upload image. Right, let me show you. I go back to this top up register wallet. Let's say I click on this gray icon. I selected my receipt and I forgot to click on this and I straight away key in my amount and I put my password. I click on submit. The system will still let you know that it's top up successful. But if you check back your top up register wallet listing here, you can see that the receipt is not uploaded. You see the icon here is different. This picture icon here means there's a receipt uploaded. But this arrow sign up icon here, if you click on it, there's no receipt uploaded. So usually company will reject and it says no receipt attached. Okay, you can always come back to here, right? If the status is still pending, you can always come back to here, top up register wallet listing. Click on this arrow icon. Same, click on this gray color icon and select your receipt picture. Open. And remember to always click this orange color button, upload image. Once you click on it, same, wait for the message to come out, photo uploaded successfully, and click on OK. Once OK, if you refresh it, you'll be able to see your receipt image already uploaded. So you have to wait for company to approve this top up. Okay, so this is top up register wallet. Now the next one is convert bonus wallet to register wallet. So this bonus wallet, whatever bonuses that you earn, instead of you, uh, instead of doing withdrawal with the company, you can always convert it to register wallet to do either registration, upgrade, or maintenance. Right. So you can come to this and click on convert bonus wallet to register wallet, and you'll be able to see both of your wallet balance here. All right. This is your bonus wallet balance. All right. This is mine, and this is also mine the register wallet balance. And the amount to convert is up to you. And the conversion rate will be at one to one. What it means that if I convert a hundred US dollar, from, I'll be getting hundred US dollar into my register wallet, all right? So the conversion rate is one to one. There's no any hidden charges, no hidden deduction or whatsoever during this conversion, all right? So if you convert hundred, you also will get hundred. 
Okay, so if this is the amount that I wish to convert, I just put in my security password and click on submit. So once I click on submit, it says converted successful, then I can always check back my uh, bonus wallet history and register wallet history to check if I really accept uh, the amount, right? So further down here, you can see your bonus wallet history. And you'll be able to see, right, just now the transaction type is convert, conversion. I convert to my register wallet and it's credited because it's coming out from my bonus wallet. So it's credited as 100. But if it's in my register wallet, it will be has debit. You see here, conversion type convert, debit 100. Okay, so this is conversion of bonus wallet to register wallet. Now the next one is convert register wallet to redemption wallet. So this convert register wallet to redemption wallet is uh, for members all right, who have, let's say, lacking of one to two points in their redemption wallet for them to redeem uh, one unit of iTerraCare device. Instead of doing maintenance, the normal maintenance, they can also come here and convert their register wallet amount into redemption wallet. Okay, so same, I click on this. The steps is the same as converting your bonus wallet to register wallet. But here, instead of showing your bonus wallet and register wallet, you will be showing your register wallet balance and your redemption wallet balance. Okay, and the conversion rate is also the same. It's one to one, no hidden charges, no hidden deduction when you do conversion. So let's say I'm just lacking of five points. So I just click on five, I type five, and I'll be getting five points into my redemption wallet. So I put in my security password and click on submit. So when I click on submit, it says conversion successful. So I have five points now in my redemption wallet. Okay. Now the next one is transfer register wallet. As I mentioned earlier, the money that you have, right, the amount that you have in your register wallet, you can transfer to your upline or downline within your family hierarchy. Okay, let's say you want to transfer to your downline, 100 US dollar, let's say, you can always come to this transfer register wallet. And then here will be showing your register wallet balance and the amount that you wish to transfer to your downline. So let's say 100, I'll just put 100. And the receiver here would be your downline uh, username. Okay, so let's say my downline username I put in. And after I key in my downline username, it will be showing my downline name. And remark, it can be any remark because this is for your own purpose when you check back your wallet history. It's just like doing your online transaction, banking transaction, there's always a need to fill up the remark. All right, so whatever remark you wish to put, you can always fill up, let's say it's to register. And then I put my security password and click on submit. Okay, now after I click on submit, it says transfer successfully. And this is like a receipt, right? Because there's a proof of a uh, transfer, because bottom here you'll be able to see the date, like when I transfer and the time I transfer. So you can actually screenshot it, send it to your downline and let them know like, hey, so and so I'm I have already transferred 100 US dollars into your wallet. Please check if you have received, All right? So this is a way to do your transfer register wallet. All right, next would be wallet redrawal. Wallet redrawal is your bonuses earned, all right? Be it your sponsor bonus, pairing bonus, matching bonus, level pairing or maintenance bonus as well. Whatever bonus that you earn into your bonus wallet, you can always do redrawal with the company, all right? In order to do so, you click on this wallet redrawal. And here, the wallet redrawal here, right? You will be showing my bonus wallet balance and the amount that I wish to redraw. Okay, right? for Kenya account, apart from redrawing as cash, there's also MPESA and also banking. Right, let's say I want to redraw as MPSA, I click on MPSA. And the amount that I wish to redraw, let's say I do not want to redraw all. I just want to redraw 50 US dollar. So I just put 50 US dollar and I click on next step. And after I click on next step, here will be showing the, your information when you do redrawal via MPSA. Right, this is for Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda. Right, this will be showing my national ID and my registered MPSA mobile number. Right, so if your information here is correct, you may proceed. But if your information here is wrong, please do not proceed. 
right? You can contact the company or the customer service, ask them to edit your information here, right? Let's say uh, you are missing a number or the digit is wrong. You can always contact customer service, let them know the correct information and they will edit it for you. Once the once they edit it, all right, the information is correct, then only you proceed to do withdrawal. Okay, so let's say my information here now is correct. And then I have to click, uh, key in my security password. But before I key in the security password, there's a small message here, whereby the redrawal cutoff time will be on every Monday, 2 p.m. follow Malaysia time, right? At GMT plus 8 Malaysia time, Hong Kong time. Okay, how do I uh, say this cutoff time is, let's say today is Saturday. Right now, I do my redrawal. This coming Monday, 2 p.m., company will check all the redrawals. So all these redrawals, company will pay all right, to you by the same week Friday, right, this following Friday. But let's say Friday falls on a public holiday, then we have to wait for the following day, following working day to be transferred to you. If the following working day from Friday would be on Monday, but let's say Monday is still a public holiday, then we will transfer to you on Tuesday. Right, so this is the meaning. But if you do your redrawal on Monday, 4 p.m., 4 p.m., let's say, then you have to wait for the following week, Friday, to receive your fund. Right, so this is the meaning of the redrawal cut of time. So, okay, so if everything is correct here and the amount that you wish to do redrawal is correct, you just key in your security password and click on next step. Okay, now after you click on next step, you say withdrawal successful, please wait for processing. Now, how do you track your withdrawal status? You can go to this uh, wallet withdrawal status. You click in and you'll be able to see that the withdrawal that I've just done just now, the status here show in progress. But if it's approved, you'll be showing here as approved and the remark here, uh, usually we will say a paid on which date. All right, so this is to check, to track your bonus withdrawal status. Now the next one will be product redemption. So for product redemption is when you have points in your redemption wallet, this you wish to redeem product, right? This is where you go to product redemption. You click on product redemption. And here, because my account is under Kenya, so Kenya, we have many, many different type options of products. Okay, you have your scroll over, you can see all the products here available in Kenya. Now let's say I want iTerra. So this is the iTerra care device. And you can see the PP here means the point value, right? The point value here for the iTerra care device is at 320 points. If I wish to redeem one, I can always click on this blue color shopping cart icon here. And then it will appear here as iTerra care. One unit is equivalent to 320 points. But if I want to redeem more than one unit, I can always click on this plus icon. And then you see, as I keep increasing my units here, my total price here also will increase to 960 points for three units. But if I want to remain as a one unit, I can always click on this negative to become one. And you see now the price is reduced to 320 per unit. All right, so this is the iTerra Care. And below here, you'll be able to see your own account, your country, and your registered wallet balance. And the total payment here, this 320 US dollar, right, it will be deducted for my registered wallet balance. Okay, so this is a info. And beneath here, members can choose, all right, delivery method. Members can choose to either to do career or you can do self-collect from the office. Let's say if you wish to do self-collect from the office, you click on self-collect and you just have to fill up your name and your contact number. Okay. And then your collection place. This is the drop down button actually. Right, you click on drop down button and you look for the office that you wish to collect. Let's say uh, Kenya. I just click on Kenya office and the collection date. I click on this calendar here and I choose, let's say I want to collect this coming Monday. So I click on 30th August and then key in my security password. Submit. So once I'm done, here it says my purchase successful. Right, I can always go to my product order report to check my order, to track my order. Right, in order to do so, I go to product order report. When I click on here, you can see 
uh, today I do the redemption just now at 9.15. And the quantity is one unit with the amount of 320 points. And you can see here the status here is pending because it's turning. But if the company already approved your redemption, it will be a tick sign here. And it will say when it's approved, right? What's the date and time? And here, as you can see, this green color paper icon here, you can actually click into this icon and our system will generate a delivery order, a DO for you. And you can actually bring this delivery order to the office, right? If you do self-collect, and you can bring it to the office and you can let the person in charge know, right? That I am so-and-so, this is my DO number here, right? This is my DO number. And I redeem one unit of iTerra care. Okay, so this is a DO that you can give to the office. But if it's a career, right? All the information, shipping address, the name address all here, right? That you key in earlier, the company will follow all the information here and career it to you accordingly. Okay, so this is the product redemption. As for product detail here, right? This product detail is actually for members who do a career, especially on career, when you choose the career option, company will update the delivery status here. If it's shipped, it will show has shipped and the icon will be like a car, a car icon. And the remark here, usually a company will put the tracking number here. So members can actually track their parcel with the tracking number available here. Okay, so this is the product detail. Now, uh, next would be a device warranty. Device warranty is whereby each iTerra Care device unit that you have, we have a specific, we have a special uh, serial number on each device, all right? Be it on the packaging, the box, or on the iTerra Care device itself, they have the serial number. This serial number will require members to key in here to activate your one year warranty period. Okay, so I click on this device warranty. And you can see here the redemption that I've done earlier. This under serial number column here, there's an orange color barcode icon, right? You click on this orange color barcode icon. And you can see the first thing that you see here is grace period 14 days. The reason why we give this a grace period 14 days is for members to have this 14 days for them to key in the serial number. After the 14 days, members are not allowed to key in the serial number anymore. So let's say today I do the redemption. Right, and company check the redemption on Monday because weekend company never check on working days itself. Company check the working uh the redemption, let's say. So from Monday, company check approve and then career the product out. Maybe when it reached to your hand, maybe it needs three to five days. So we actually allocate a grace period, a breeding period of 14 days for members, right, to accept the product. Once they receive the product, they have to key in the serial number here to activate their one-year warranty period. And as you all may know, I understand that for members who join us in May, June, and July, and early August, your grace period of 14 days is already over. So you are unable to put your serial number. So uh, starting from 1st September to 15th September, company is opening uh, this uh, serial number grace period, right? For all members who previously are unable to key in their serial number, yeah, they now they can do the serial number record here, key in here, right? From 1st September to 15th September. Okay, let's say if today I receive my product and today I key in my serial number, all right, the, the warranty of one year period, right, will activate from today onwards. You can see 28 August 2021 to next year, 28 August 2022. Okay, so this is my one year warranty period. So as for the serial number, I believe now we have either A or B, all right? The alphabet start with either A or B and the numbers are varies accordingly. So let's say my serial number is uh, A. So I just put in my serial number like this, all right? You can always check the serial number from either from the packaging or from the device itself, right? There's always serial number. And then the security password and click on confirm. So once I click on confirm, it says here the serial number has already been edited. Now, how do I check whether, uh, let's say for the following six months, how I cannot remember if my device are still in warranty or not. So I can always come back to this device warranty and click on this serial number applied. Click on next step. 
and you'll be able to see your iTerra care device. Let's say my serial number is this number and you can see the one year warranty period duration here. Right. If it's still within this duration, meaning my device is still under warranty, right? Just in case if there's any defect or any faulty, right? The company can either exchange one to one unit or repair it for you for free. But if it's exceeded this a warranty period, let's say uh, on next year, October, right? Then my device is faulty. I want to uh, fix it. Company can help me to fix it, but with a cost with the charges. Okay. So this is. The mean, uh, this is how member key in their serial number to activate their one-year warranty period. Okay, so this is all the functions that you have in under Navigate. Now, next will be reward. For reward, we have four functions here. Firstly, is sales history. Sales history, when you click in, it will show you all the sales that you have done from your account. It be it like just now when I have to register my new friend, my new downline, all right, this is also considered as a sale. And when I have, uh, when I do upgrade, it's also as a sale. When I do maintenance, it's also sale. So whatever sales that you created using your account, it will all appear here. Okay, so this is sales history. Now, secondly, is the daily bonus report. Daily bonus report is whereby members are able to track their daily bonuses, be it sponsor bonus, pairing bonus, matching bonus, level pairing, all these bonuses, all right, you'll be shown daily and you can see how much you've earned per day. Okay, currently in August, I never earned any bonuses, but if I want to check back, let's say my June record, right, I can always click on this calendar, select June, and click on next step. Then it will be showing my whole month of June record, okay? And as you can see here on 14 June, I got earned this fourth column here is level pairing. I got earned level pairing bonus, an amount of 89.6 US dollar. Right? So this is in US dollar. So if I want to know more like where this amount come from, right? From which level and all that, this green icon here, you can always click in. And you can see, you can actually see that on a 14 June, I earned my level pairing from my first level. So my first level, I have this X amount of money. All right, so this is in US dollar. Okay, so this is a way to track your daily bonus. Now the third one will be level pairing details. Level pairing details will be able to see your left and right lab per levels. As you can see here, my first level here, uh, on my left, I have this uh, username, Uganda. And my right, I have Kenya. All right, so I actually gotten my first pair level pairing. If I have more levels be, below me, and the system here will show level two, three, four, five, six, and so on, and on your left or either on your right. Okay, so this is, you can track your level pairing details. Lastly, will be maintenance bonus report. It's just the same as daily bonus report. If you click in, it'll be showing you your maintenance bonus, be it personal bonus and your maintenance bonus. Okay, as my account here, I previously never do any maintenance, so I actually never earn any bon uh, maintenance bonus. Okay, so if uh, you have earned any maintenance bonus from your account, remember if there's a green color icon like just now I showed you earlier, you can always click in and you can track where the, the money coming from is coming from which member. Okay, so this is a way to track your maintenance bonus report. Now the next one will be info, right? This info we have two. One is news. This news here is actually the same as the our homepage here. Our homepage here news. All right. If you want, you if you are not in the homepage, you want to check back the news. You can also click on this info, and there will be a news here. And the next one will be contact customer service. So this contact customer service is a member. Actually, if uh, you experience, you need the company to edit. Let's say your uh, email address or contact number, your bank details, uh, especially, all right, you, you can always come to this contact customer service, click on new topic, all right, let's say uh, this is your title, topic name, bank info, let's say, and then you type your message, I can you please change my bank account number to Let's say something like this, all right? So once then after you're done with your messages, you click on submit. And then uh, our office customer service will 
uh, receive your message and we will reply you as soon as possible. So as you can see, after you send your message, this is your message previously, all right, earlier to our customer service and you have this one red color, one icon here. So this one red color icon here is actually there's a message for you that you haven't read, all right? You can always click in. Once you click in, it will be show the new message and this message is an auto reply from us that uh, for every messages that you send to us, we will have an auto reply. So he says, thank you for reaching out to us. We have received your message and we'll be in touch with you soon. Okay. So this is a way to contact our customer service. Now next will be setting. For setting, we have few uh, settings here that members can do. Firstly is the personal details. So the personal details here, when you click in, you put in your security password, you can actually fill up few of your informations. All right, like for basic, you can always fill up your date of birth. You can update your email, right? Your nickname, your race, religion, marriage, uh, marital status, and all that. All right, this is all your basic information. And as for address, you can also update. You click our address here. You fill up your address and your contact number. Okay, and then your bank details you can also fill up here. So let's say just now the new member, all right, who when they do the first time login, they skip the part where they have to put in their bank details, right? After they skip, they can always come back to this personal details here. They click on bank and they can actually fill up their bank details. But bear in mind that these bank details, after you fill up and click on update, you cannot change your bank details anymore because we prevent uh, troubles, let's say, upline, they log into downline account and they change the bank details, right? To prevent all this trouble, once you key in your bank details, we don't allow members to edit anymore. So let's say if your bank details, you have, uh, you selected the wrong bank, all right, or your account number, you have, you're missing one number, you can always contact customer service, give the correct information and the customer service will update your bank details for you. Okay. And the lastly will be conversion address. Conversion address is your USDT wallet address. Right, you can always update your USDT wallet address here based on this uh, TRC20. Okay, if next time in the future, if you do withdraw via USDT, company will follow your wallet address here and will transfer the fund accordingly. Okay, so this is personal details. Now the next one will be edit login password. When you click on edit login password, let's say I wish to change my login password. I do not want to use my current login password anymore. I can change by going to this edit login password. And I put in my current login password and I change to my new password, re-enter. And when I click on next step, it will say my password updated successfully. So the following, uh, the next time, the next time when I log in, I must remember to log in using my new password. I cannot use my old password to log in anymore. Okay, so this is a way to change your login password. As for security password, you can change as well. You click on this edit security password. And here it says to fill up your current login password instead of to fill up your current security password. This is because uh, some members, they forget, right? They forget their security password. So they can always come to this edit security password here and change their security password by putting their login password. And then they can change their security password from here, right? When they forget. So I put my new security password and click on next step. And here it says my security password already changed, activated successfully. Okay, so this is a way to change your login and security password. Now the next one is we currently add, all right, we currently add this our iTerraCare e-manual here. If you click on this iTerraCare e-manual here, it will auto download to either to your laptop or to your phone. All right, now uh, for our iTerraCare in each packaging, there's a small blue color leaflet, right, for our device manual. So we also got upload it here. So next time, if you uh, lost that manual, you can always come back here to download the e-manual. It's actually exactly the same. Okay, as for our e-invoice here, it's not ready yet, it's coming. All right, so this e-invoice is for members who join us. Let's say whatever packages that buy, be it silver, diamond, or gold package, all right, there'll be an invoice for each member. Okay, so this is the e-invoice. Now, uh, the next one would be dark mode. Dark mode is something like for Facebook or Instagram now, they have this function of dark mode. If you wish to have this dark mode, you can always activate it here. When you click on activate, it will change to dark mode, black color. 
But if you do not like black color, you want to remain as white, you can deactivate it and then it will come back to white. And next will be report type. Report type is, well, we have two version. One is standard and mobile. Standard is always for desktop or laptop version. Mobile is when you use your phone, right? So we have this function for a report. There's also a font size. Font size you can either set as the biggest font size. You see where I put biggest, it will be the biggest. Or you want to have the smallest, you will become small. All right, so you can play about with this setting. The second last would be shortcut. Shortcuts is you create these shortcuts and these shortcuts will be appear under your home page. So let's say I want to have this register as my shortcut. I activate this register and it says shortcut register has been changed. And if I go back to my home page, you can see further down here, there's a shortcut appear here, this register. So next time when I log in, I'll be, uh, I straight away click on this register and it will bring me to this registration page form like that. But if I wish to close it, I can always come back to setting, select shortcut, and then I untick this register and then the shortcut would off from my homepage. It won't appear in my homepage anymore. Okay, and lastly is uh, languages. Currently, our language, we have uh, English and Mandarin, right? This is our current language now, but we definitely add on in the future. And then lastly, we'll have a lockout button here. This lockout button, you can come to this setting and click lockout, or at the top of our page here, there's always a lockout button and you can click on lockout. Okay, so this is our iNetwork to you VIP member system. So uh, any question, uh, I pass back. To you, Mr. Sam. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much to uh, Miss Joanna Chong, all the way from IT department, to explain and even doing demo for all of us to learn online about our member back office system. In fact, uh, I believe all our, our friends on the line they actually you have learned a lot. But uh, bear in mind, you need to practice. Uh, try to log in, then you can understand better. Today, it's just a demo.